Hello, great to be with you. We're here in Stratford at the London Stadium, a ground built originally for the Olympics in 2012. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary, as always, is Lee Dixon. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's West Ham United versus Manchester United. Well, thank you, Derek. The excitement at the start of any game is almost tangible. Looking forward to this one. The crowd are up for it. The players look like they're going to have a really good go at this game. Can't wait. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. He's a Jock plays with Angelo Ogbonna in central defence. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Marcel Zabitza plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And beginning the game up front today, Anthony Martial. Defeat for Manchester United last time out as they lost against Newcastle United. How will they fare on this occasion, Lee? Well, they really weren't in the game. 3-1 at home. Terrible result, Derek. The players need to improve from last time out, but I think they will. I think they'll get a draw. Encouraging stuff from United. Wonderful block. But as we glance at the table, it really is shaping up to be a captivating season, highly competitive, especially at the summit. Yeah, plenty of teams in the hunt hoping to lift the trophy at the end of the season. I think most fans, Derek, particularly the neutrals like me and you, love a close race. Nobody likes to see a team run away with it. Martial onto Bruno Fernandes. Shot attempted. Absolutely magnificent goalkeeping. Oh, he's almost turning away. He thinks he's scored. The goalkeeper doesn't. Played into the center of the box. And able to get a body in the way. Another block. Well, unable to bend his run offside. For Niles. Cresswell with it. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Well, sometimes a player comes along who you have to describe as a pure natural talent. Jaden Sancho falls in that category. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, basically, you've got to keep him out of the box because he's got such a brilliant finishing ability that you give him half a yard, he will score. So keep him as far away from your goal as possible. Let's get an update from the Etihad Stadium where a goal has been scored, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Raheem Sterling. The keeper came for a cross, missed it and left an easy tap in. 17 minutes played, 1-1. Many thanks, Alan. Happy to take on the shot. Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. And that's a corner. Over it comes. Well, no end product. Marcel Zabitza. Maguire. Able to close down the shot. And a long way out here. And the free kick caught cleanly by the keeper. And he read it superbly. Shaw. On to Bruno Fernandes. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, he's lost it. Keeping it moving dynamically. Well, no danger now. For Niles. 
Not much time to make up his mind. Kyle Larin working away patiently, looking for an opening. Aaron Cresswell. Ben Rama. Giving it a try. Routine for De Gea. Marcus Rashford. Marcel Zabitza. Casemiro failed to hang on to it. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Oh, lovely incisive pass. A goal to give them a 1-0 lead. An excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely, quick counter-attack that sets up the chance. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. The opening goal of the game, then. Good-looking ball. Well, he likes to run at them. Dangerous ball. No difficulties encountered by De Gea. Well, Derek, when the chances are few and far between, it's very important the forwards stay focused. Not many chances out there. Can they get one of those chances to get them back in the game? A goal has gone in in the Newcastle game. Alan McAdally can tell us more. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. 38 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks, Alan. So a throw in here. Juan Bisaka. Rashford in the middle. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Bruno Fange. More than decent this from United. And the ball's gone. And we will have just one additional minute. And a chance for him on the flank. Has a go. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Second half underway, with United looking to build upon a largely positive first half showing. Casemiro. Sancho now. Bruno Fernandes. Marcel Zabitza. Bruno Fernandes. And it's played into the centre. Casemiro. Well, he went for placement, but it didn't go to plan. Well, we just see his body position there. He's trying to open himself up, bend it into that corner, but he got it all wrong. Vladimir Kufal. In possession, Bowen. Well, one man who acquitted himself very well in the first half was Anthony Martial. Lee, what did you think of what you saw from him? Well, Derek, you're right, he has played well, and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. Well, no card, but the referee clearly indicating that he's on his last warning. Delivered into the box. Uh, completely misfired with that one, a long way off target. Yeah, but it goes in the top corner and your hero is worth an effort. Maguire. Jaden Sancho. Bruno Fernandes has it. Excellent vision. Just couldn't get it through. 
just cutting off the supply and a goal has gone in at St James's Park who has scored it, Alan McAnally it's a second goal for Tottenham Hotspur it's been scored by Gareth Bale he beat the offside line and lifted the ball over the keeper 56 minutes played, 2-1 and not cleared away properly Casemiro now with Sancho well that's how to break the spirit of the attacker and they're trying to get right into his face over the touchline for a throw in and with play stopped they will make the change now well apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off in that fashion to clarify Spurs found the net in that game and they hold the aces presently leading 2-1 will they get themselves level here oh out of this world from De Gea well his reactions Derek just look how quick he reacts And now the delivery, it didn't happen for them. Jared Bowen, crossed accurately towards the far post. And the keeper acquitted himself well. Yeah, it was a good ball in, wasn't it? But the keeper did everything right. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. Let's fly here! And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Good bit of pressing, but it can't get through. Well, being pressed here, just the challenge is required. Time for a change then. Martial. The ball with Zabitza. Sancho. And now Shaw. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Bruno Fernandes. Exquisite pass from Casemiro. And it all counts for naught. He succeeds in clearing it. Suchek. Now, let's see what they can do here. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Rashford Martial and in the second half the signs are positive they can't relax Lee but they ought to be pleased well all the United players will be looking up at the clock time is ebbing away they have such a delicate lead will they rue those missed chances they could be costly well the ref will hear the crowd all right we can hear him from here he's taking some stick can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Marcel Zabitza. Shaw. The delivery. away but at the expense of a corner both managers deciding this is the time to change things around both teams going to the bench and it took a touch on the way through so a corner here played into the center of the box 
quite simply not clinical enough with the header lee well headers are always difficult it's all about timing and he got the timing completely wrong there inside the final five minutes now well just listen to the crowd they want a bit more they know there's still time to grab an equalizer surely they'll get another chance or two it's going to be united's free kick unable to keep the ball that time and he's in an offside position Marcus Rashford and the referee is going to add on three minutes Martial quick thinking to dispossess his opponent well nicely cut out now what can they do with the ball Marega on the ball in an attacking position but they've got to do something positive quick and that is the end of the game it goes down as a united triumph they'll be happy to have gathered three points lee well it was tight The floodlights are shining down on the players here at Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, with me for commentary is Lee Dixon, and we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to. It is Manchester United facing Bashak Shahir. Yeah, Derek, thanks. You can't really go on and win tournaments unless you're consistent in the group stages. Very important you don't drop points. Looking forward to this one. Thank you, Old Trafford. Enjoy the game. And this Champions League group stage contest commences. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Raphael Varane plays alongside Victor Lindelof in central defence, and Wout Weghorst is the striker. Malassia. It's now with Van der Beek. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. 
And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. No yellow card, instead a firm warning from the official. Well, no danger now. Giuliano. Hassan Ali Kalirim. Couldn't keep the ball. He takes aim. Well, when all was said and done, he's failed to hit the target. Junior Fernandes. Well, back when the teams were drawn into groups, no one expected the home side tonight to struggle quite as much in this section. Yeah, you're right, Derek. You can't produce performances like they have and get away with it for too long. It's caught up with them, simple as that. They're desperate for three points tonight. Donny van der Beek. A good effective pressure high up the pitch. Marcus Rashford. Oh, he's given it away. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Rafael. And Fernandez. It needs an accurate cross. Careless in possession. Wout Weghorst read it well news of a goal in the Leipzig match Alan McAnally it's a goal for Paris Saint-Germain 70 minutes played 1-0 thanks as ever for the update Alan insufficient accuracy with the head early yeah he got there as well it was all about could he get it on target but when you see how far he missed wow Marcus Rashford. Ericsson's pass, not sufficiently accurate. And room now out on the flank. How about the cross? Well, strong play here. And just failed to keep the ball in play that time. Marcus Rashford. Christian Eriksen now. Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. Mehmet Topal. Rafael. Vizca. Giuliano. Giuliano! He's unable to take the chance, and he'll be disappointed here. Well, nil-nil. It should be one-nil. It really should. Ericsson. Junior Fernandez. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Junior Fernandez. Space and time for the cross. This looks promising. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Van der Beek. Good visualisation and execution. And he takes on the shot. Well, the keeper had to concentrate. United looking to forge ahead. Let's see if the corner helps them.
Played into the center of the box. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Donny van der Beek. Able to close down the shot. Excellent challenge. Donny van der Beek. Christian Eriksen now. And return to Eriksen. Doughty defending to win the ball back. Can they hit on the break? Crivelli. The ball with Mehmet Topal. Over the touchline for a throw in. Malassia. It's now with Van der Beek. Wout Weghorst. Casemiro. Van der Beek. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Great chance with that header. But he sent it wide of the post. Well, it's quite easy to head that one over the bar. This time he just gets his angles wrong, just past the post. Casemiro. Veghorst. Possession changing hands. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. And the second half of this Champions League group stage meeting is underway. Giuliano. Mehmet Topal. And here is Malassia. Manchester United have lost the ball. Rafael. And a decent delivery. And you need your defender to take charge. Wout Weghorst. Theme emerging of wasted possession. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Manchester United facing Aston Villa. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. Mehmet Topal. Giuliano. Well read to put an end to that attack. Eriksen. On to Weghorst. More than decent this from United. Eriksen in the middle. No nonsense clearance. Junior Fernandez. Mahmoud Tekdemir. And a goal has been scored in the Leipzig game. Let's hear about that goal from Alabak and Ali. It's a second goal for Paris Saint Germain. It's been scored by Angel Di Maria. He beat the keeper at his near post with a crisply hit shot. 59 minutes played, 2 0. Many thanks, Alan. And on the base. of that effort quite clearly he's not wearing his shooting boots at the moment well it was a strong effort used his laces but uh, screwed it well off target 
Well, you have to say, Derek, it's been a poor draw so far. Nobody really pushing the boat out. Somebody has to take a chance. Somebody really has to try and win this game. Veghorst. He takes aim. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Casemiro. And a good tackle. An example of how to press. And the ball's gone. Sancho. On to Bruno Fernandes. An attack full of prop and rattling the post. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. Jadon Sancho, alert defending. So, 20 minutes to go. Giuliano. Mamut Tekdemir. In behind for him to chase. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Fred. Now Casemiro. Fred with it. And room now out on the wing. Can he put them in front? Oh, no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he found himself in a great position, but he couldn't find the finish. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Veghorst. What can he do from here? Now Casemiro. Fred. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Not much time to make up his mind. Effective challenge. Sancho. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. <laughs> Alexandru Epureanu. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And he's made headway. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Veghorst. Oh, a lovely ball. Is it going to be? Well, he strayed offside just as it looked promising. Samiro, his pass gobbled up. Only five minutes left for play, and tension galore with the teams locked together. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Fred. Superbly read and executed. Encouraging stuff from United. Castamillo. Not high quality defending. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Casemiro. Can't miss, surely! And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Well, this corner could be pivotal. It might represent the last chance to get in front in the dying moments. Now the delivery. Bruno Fernandes. And maybe Rashford. Fed over towards the back post. And that will do it for tonight. This group stage meeting is over and the points have been shared.
Well, Derek, we all come to football to watch goals. We didn't get any tonight, but it was an interesting game. I really enjoyed it, actually. One man the focus of attention. Three goals in three games, and you can't argue with that. We're live on EA TV. And here we are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary position, as always, by Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester United up against Aston Villa. Yeah, thanks, Derek. My advice to the players out there is try and get off to a quick start. Be accountable for your own performance. But above all, go out and enjoy yourself. Should be a great game. Bruno Fernandes. Shot attempted. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. They've won possession again. Manchester United throw in here. Well, there are many who regard Bruno Fernandes as the complete footballer. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him today? Well, the more you give this lad the ball, the better the team normally plays. He switches the ball, he links play from left to right, up and down the pitch. He keeps possession, a brilliant player. It might be on for them. Delivered into the area here. Clattered away. Rashford. Scott McTominay. Jaden Sancho. He's in here. Well, body in the way. Body in the way again. Opportunity to deliver the cross. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Running with the ball confidently. High pressing at its best. Effective challenge. Use of a goal at the Emirates. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. It's been scored by Juan Moutinho. A mix-up between the keeper and his defence gave an easy opportunity that he made no mistake from. 16 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. And the ruling is offside here. Anthony Martial. 
Scott McTominay. The ball with Zabica. Rashford. Crossed into the penalty area. Rashford. And now Shaw. Not too fussy in clearing. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that. And it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky. Bruno Fernandes. And a throw-in it's going to be. Traore. Ollie Watkins. Might really be able to trouble them here. Oh, big chance! Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Juan Bisaka. Here's Sancho. That's not a bad ball. And they deal with the threat this time. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Free kick awarded then by the referee. He succeeds in clearing it. Good looking ball. Kamada. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Can they put away? Well, they can bring it out now. Shaw. Well, I can't believe it's still level. What a save that was from the keeper. Bruno Fernandes. And now Rashford. Well, that is a moment I'm sure he wishes he could have back. Well, he did everything right, the movement and everything. He got his head on it, but it's way, way off target. And the use of technology here to verify the fact that it didn't cross the line. Well, I didn't think it was close first time round, Derek, and quite rightly see here... Nowhere near, but we might as well have another look. Not a goal, though. As clear as day. And intercepts again. Kamada. Jack Grealish. Bruno Fernandes has it. United enjoying the bulk of possession here, but really possession doesn't score your goals. You need to be a little bit more forceful in front of goal. They need to get their shots away. Well, possession seeded. And a change to the scoreline at the Emirates Stadium. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a goal for Arsenal. It's been scored by Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. A sweetly struck volley from close range. 41 minutes played, 1-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Nakamba, can he do it to take the lead? Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Over it comes. And... Clears his lines. Options in the middle. Marcel Zabica. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams.
And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Daichi Kamada. Target with it. Konsa. Marvellous Nakamba. They do pass the ball with authority. Well, couldn't keep it. Jaden Sancho. Scott McTominay. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Don't forget about the fourth round of the Carabao Cup live coverage here on EA TV. It's Manchester United taking on Chelsea. Yeah, just 16 teams remaining now. And I think both teams will be looking at that match thinking we're just a handful of games away from the final. Big game that one, Derek. Traore. Really getting stuck in. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. Punched away. Playing with purpose and control. Throw in to Manchester United. Scott McTominay. I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Arsenal game, Alan. It's a second goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 59 minutes played, 2-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Bruno Fernandes. Half an hour remaining then. It's a fine United move in the making. Well, they had the ball in a very promising position, but now it's been taken away from them. Don't forget about the fourth round of the Carabao Cup live coverage here on EA TV. It's Aston Villa facing Southampton. Yeah, just 16 teams remain. now and I think both teams will be looking at that match thinking we're just a handful of games away from the final big game that one Derek well they haven't overcome all the difficulties he's taken on his opponent here if spectacular goalkeeping is what you're after Davy De Gea is your man oh he can stretch look at him he stretches for that brilliant save Kamada can he take advantage and there it is the opening goal 1-0 and they'll finish as we can see right place at the right time striker's instinct is to be there or thereabouts keeper is no chance so on they go again and that really should shake up United can they find a response now Juan Bisaka possession and patience the watchwords Looked as though they meant business, but now they've got to try again. Marvellous Nakamba. Fine sequence of passes. Ollie Watkins. Traore. So, 20 minutes to go. Losing possession a bit easily. And a change to the scoreline at the Emirates Stadium. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a second goal for Arsenal. 72 minutes played. 2-2. Many thanks, Alan. Casemiro. Bruno Fernandes has it. Martial. Superbly read and executed. 
Well, in the second half, trailing, albeit by a small margin. How should they be viewing this task, Lee? Well, United will feel because the game is... Has eyes for goal! He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! It's going their way, 2-0. Bruno Fernandes. Now Casemiro. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Flag raised for offside. Marvellous Nakamba. Bertrand Traore has it. Jörn Engels. Kamada. Moving it forward. He's got the right idea with that pass. In it goes! to rubber stamp it once and for all well we could take another look at this it's a lovely little one two to get through and the pressure comes as he knew it would but it's the strength that impresses me it's a great goal in the end well if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome surely they now have been removed Ericsson here's Luke Shaw Christian Eriksen now. Anthony Martial. Takes the shot. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, I think the keeper's expecting power. He's expecting the laces to come right through that ball, but he just passes it into the net. A lovely, lovely finish. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. And they need to get tighter. No, high quality defending. Bruno Fernandes. Jadon Sancho. Well, he knows it. The shot needed to be just a bit lower. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Real danger. But he dealt with that ball played in rather well. And over comes the corner. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Well, now he's walking on eggshells, you might say. Next time it'll be yellow. Place to cut out the pass. And there it is, the full time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. The journey home is.